I want I always like to spotlight um, someone interesting for Black History. So for Black History Month, I want to spotlight Black folks that aren't usually celebrated, but they should be. Okay, so this week we will talk about Nanny Burroughs. So around 1880, Nanny Helen Burroughs was born to a formerly enslaved couple living in Orange, Virginia. Her father died when she was young, and she and her mother relocated to Washington, D.C. Burroughs excelled in school and graduated with honors from M Street High School, now Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School. Despite her academic achievement, Burroughs was turned down for a Washington, D.C. public school teaching position. Some historians speculate that the elite black community discriminated against Burroughs because she had darker skin. Undeterred, Burroughs decided to open her own school to educate and train poor working African-American women. In addition to founding the National Training School for Women and Girls, Burroughs also advocated for greater, greater civil rights for African-Americans and women. At the time, black women had few career choices. Many did domestic work like cooking and cleaning. Burroughs believed women should have the opportunity to receive an education and job training. She wrote about the need for black and white women to work together to achieve the right to vote. She believed suffrage for African-American women was crucial to protect their interests in an often discriminate, discriminatory society. Burroughs died in May 1961. She never married and she devoted her life to the education of black women. In, nine, in 1964, the school was renamed the Nanny Helen Burroughs School in her honor. Burroughs, de, uh, Burroughs defied societal restrictions placed on her gender and her race and her work sh uh, foreshadowed the main principles of the civil rights movement of the 1960s and 70s. Miss Burroughs, you are who we are talking about today. What do you think about that? Alex? I mean, I just, I can't imagine what it was like for a, a a woman in the 1880s, let alone a black woman, mm -hmm. let alone just like, and she, what a trailblazer. Like she said, you know what? I'm going to do it myself. Exactly. Oh, you're not going to help me but educate like, it? But that's no like problem. typical of like any woman, you know, she's like, they just find, like they find something and they just turn it into like, like gold. But that yeah. doesn't happen right away, Alex. No. Like this woman had to fight and she fight and fight. And, and, she fought and, and you like, get told how I mean, you know, I know that you're not used to anybody telling you no with that face, well, but I know what it feels like to be told no. And after one or twice, like once or twice, you go, ah, you know what? I'm done fighting. Do you get that a lot? Like, do you get like women like as a Latina, do you get like Yeah, of course I like, do. Do they try to dumb you down or something like that? Well, because they think, you know, it's what I work in a world with where that it's very led by gay white men. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, and, you know, and women out there, you probably live in a world that's ruled by white men. Yeah, <laughs> you know, right. so it's one of those things where if you look a certain way, you're automatically thought that you yeah. must not have a brain. If yeah. you have a boobs bigger than a B cup, yeah. then you must not, not have a brain. brain. And that's not the case, you but know? That's why you got to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. And you, if you have an idea and if you have like, I mean, she must have fought like crazy to like, and then be discriminated by your own people because, because you're darker. Because you're darker. What is that all about? You know, it's it's crazy because that happens also in Latin yeah. communities as well, where right. it's like, oh, my hair is better than you. Tengo el pelo bueno. That means I have good oh hair. So God. I'm better than you because I have better hair. You yeah. know, yeah. like you know, nappy like is very mainstream. But when I grow up, I was like, oh my God, yeah. like you know, it hurt to be called like if you had a nappy head. I, I remember like having Puerto Rican friends who were. Uh, Afro, like Tainos, mm -hmm. the difference between, and then there's like the Ricky Martin Puerto Rican. Yeah, the J Lo Puerto Rican <laughs> is not what they all look yeah, like. You know, what, you know what, what I mean? So, I mean, it's the, the, it's like a case system almost. It's like the darker, the, the darker ones, isn't it? Like, the closer you are to white people, the more you're passable. But like if in, in slavery, you know, if you're, if you're a different shade, you might be able to work inside the house. That's true. Or, that's so true. That's a, there's a lot going on with the, with the color of your, I mean, that's like, crazy. I'm so not qualified to talk about stuff like this, no. you know what I mean? And, but but I know, do know injustice and I do know, like, I do know what it's like for, I do know, like, as a kid from like a single mom, like doing what she had to do, like, I do understand what it's like for a woman to like, just pave her way. And have to fight. Have to, have to fight. Nail, have to you fight. know, yeah. and I mean, the beauty of, of uh, so many wonderful things that Nanny mm -hmm. did, she broke ceilings that weren't even there yeah. yet, you know, but... Uh, also to know that she never married or never made a family devoted. of herself because she devoted to this cause. Yeah, this was yeah. what needed to be at the forefront. Yeah. This is her legacy. And Nanny, you and many other black folks that need to be spotlighted, not only in February, but I'm so happy that we were able to talk about you yeah. today. So 
So, did you enjoy the show? I know you did, so make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any of the events, news, or interviews right here on the Faye What Show. Ring the bell at the bottom of the screen, right there, so you'll be alerted every time we're live. You can also click on the Happening Out Television Network logo so you can see all of the shows on the most diverse LGBTQ plus media network. Find out just what we're doing to bring the L and the G together right here on the Faye What Show. Get the week started with me.